Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christy's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, Series 11. And for today's layout, we have one by Ashley, the Scrapping Nerd. And when I first looked at it, I thought, oh, that looks like a baseball. I could get baseball pictures out. But while I was looking for the pictures, I found some other ones I wanted to use. So I will have four. Yes, four pictures instead of two. And these are the pictures that I am going to be using for my layout. And there are, from my, well, I think there's a granddaughter, well, grandson, great niece and nephew. I don't know who all in there. Someone's pretty tiny. It's kind of hard to tell. And I'm going to be using Simple Stories, Family Fun, and some Cartabella, I think, that might have the same name. I can't remember for sure. I got it in a warehouse box. But the simple stories I bought as a collection. These were cut out before, you know, on another layout. I just didn't use them all. And the 6 by 6 pad is the family fun one from Cartabella. And the rest is all those scraps. It, except for one sh partial sheet of my mind's eye is simple stories. And it has like an L shape layered on the left hand side so I'm going to repeat that and I'm going to use different colors because I'm going to use a lot of different colors the ones for my stripes aren't going to match the ones for my circles I don't think no they do match the ones for my circles the ones that go underneath my photos don't match those but they are a variety of colors and that one there, it, <laughs> I forgot to mention that one. That one there on the back, you could tell it had letters. It is from a school one from Echo Park. But I just wanted to find colorful scraps. And um, when I was looking at that and thinking baseball and then seeing the other photos, I thought, well, what could I do in that big space instead of baseball? Because I was thinking red stitches along similar lines there. And then I thought, well, I could do the mat on the Twister game. So that's what I'm doing. But I decided I didn't want them solid. I went ahead and used pattern papers instead. Well, I used the same ones as in the L shape, as I said. But the ones underneath the photos, I didn't have enough scraps. So the ones under the photos are different colors. But they're still yellow and blue. One's a kind of a green. It wasn't as green as I wanted, but it, it is a green. And then the other one's blue. I am putting my title in the bottom right hand corner. However, <laughs> I was doing it because I thought that's where it went. I had looked at the sketch before I ever started pulling anything out and it was on my iPad. Well, it, the battery was low, so I plugged it in across the room. I thought I knew what I was doing. The title is above the photos. And yeah, mine's in the bottom right hand corner because I had looked at tomorrow's layout too, and guess what? Is in the bottom right hand corner. So <laughs> I'm going to have two days in a row, maybe, bottom right hand corner. I haven't done that one yet. I might put it above the photos. Who knows? But I was intending to put it above the picture and follow that much along with the sketch. But it looks okay where it's at. And I used the. Well, I used some puffy stickers, two of them, and I used the uh, uh, phrase stickers from Simple Stories and did the family. So it's Let's Play Family Game On. And we are at my mom's 80th birthday, and I brought games for the kids to play because I knew we'd be there a while, and they'd be kind of on the board side if they didn't have something to do. And so this was one of the games I brought that I'd had for a very long time <laughs> because all you do is wash it off <laughs> and this is like new again. Uh, my oldest grandson is the one twirling the little uh, dial thing over there. Spinner, the spinner. It's called a spinner, I believe. <laughs> but uh, the rest are all playing. And then there's you can't see them very good because of the glare, which I cannot do anything about and gave up on a long time ago. Um, they, There's two girls over there, which is my great niece and uh, granddaughter. And then these kids are here. And then there's a whole handful doing another game over to the other side. But <laughs> 
they were staying busy. And, oh, the two that's over there that I mentioned, the granddaughter and great niece, the tables, we put them in a kind of a circle thing, you know, square circle, square circle, you know, where it's empty in the middle. Those kids had to play in there <laughs> a lot, and they took toys and everything in there. So it was kind of like a built-in playpen. And the main toy of attraction was the empty box that I had brought games and stuff in. But I've already scrapped that one a long time ago because it was just too cute. Um, let's see, where am I at on here? Oh, I didn't want my circles to be empty because, of course, y'all know I like more. So I am using stickers from the sticker book. They were really thin, and I did mount them on um, paper. Well, the paper from the 6 by 6 paper pad so that they'd be a little more sturdy, and I could use foam tape on some of them. And I used some chipboard from the Echo Park. Oh, those stickers were simple stories. And um, then, of course, I'm going to be using some of those stars because there are stars on the original sketch. And I wanted to repeat them on my layout, too. But, uh, yeah, super cute sketch. And I had so much fun making it. But while I am adding these odds and ends, I want to mention that down there below, you'll find the link, the master link, to all the videos that have been going on all month long and for the sketches. And you'll also find a link for Facebook for the group. So you can go over there and make your own layout and put it in the folder for that day underneath that sketch. And there's a huge variety over there because there's a lot of people that don't do YouTube videos. And Instagram. We can't forget Instagram. So the hashtag will be down there for the Instagram. But yeah, uh, lots of places to find inspiration and to post yours too so we can see what you created with the same sketch. I just love it that sketches can be copied completely. And also they can be used as inspiration. So everybody's is a little bit different. Nobody has one alike. And so that makes it a lot of fun. You get lots of ideas. And I've known people to do it more than once. After they see somebody else's layout, they got to try it again, then it that way. So lots of inspiration down there. Are you all trying the sketches? We only have one this month that is not exclusive to Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. And so these are all brand new sketches created just for this month's collaboration. And if you've been over to Christie's channel, you will see that she has been showing pictures of the ones that are doing them on Facebook and scrolling down them every day or two so you can see what everybody else is creating too not just the ones that's on youtube but that's it that's my layout like i said i had a lot of fun doing it i loved using all these bright colors to go with my twister mat and getting the layout completed that been setting for a while when i was working it was just too hard to do them all so it's so nice that i can do them now but uh, if you leave a comment down there below, I'll try to get back with you. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe. And those of you already are, thank you so very much. And I want to thank all of you for watching my video today. I know there's plenty out there you could be watching. And I appreciate you watching mine. But, yeah, that's it. That's my layout. I hope you all have a happy, scrappy week. Have fun watching videos all month long of the sketches um, from Christie's Beautiful Life. Bye!